Ciao guys, Trey Food here. So having a broken 5K plus doesn't really mean that we can make video about it. We can make more content about it. And here we are, here we have it. In this video, you're gonna see how to mount the deluxe audio strap directly on the 5K plus or 8K without weird things going on. Make it look very, very rad as you can see. And of course, adding audio and more comfort to it. So let's do it and let's talk about it. Okay, so here we are on the PC. Let's see how to do it directly. So the first thing you have to do is to take this link over here and copy in your browser. It's gonna be in the link below, so don't worry about it. And it's gonna open this page. And of course, the page of the creator who create, of course, this part, calculated everything. This is how it looks. These are the pieces. And what you can do actually, if you have a 3D print there, well, you can download all the file, you can tip, of course, the designer and print it by yourself. Instead, if you don't have it, well, you can ask them to make it for you, not directly the designer, but there are a lot of uh, uh, people out there that are just used Thingiverse to use the 3D printer and print for other people. The only thing that you have to be aware is that the infill has to be 90%. Mine was actually 100%, I think, but um, it worked pretty well. And the filament has to be PLA and the layer eyes has to be 15 millimeter 0 0.15 millimeter that's just the thing that you have to be aware so you order your printer you decide from who i actually use it over here so you click on launch you sign in with your account your create one if you don't have it at that point so you have the measurement it's going to be millimeters in this case i will remove this part because you don't really need it i use just the the one and two pieces that I found better. You click on next, uh, you add your shipping address so they know where to ship it, of course. And then you have the selection, all, all the different people that can print it for you. Remember here to click on PLA. So the price goes down and that's the one that you want anyway. And the color, I really suggest black because it looks like just better. You select one, uh, the one that you prefer. Of course, if you want to use other services, it's fine as well. And in the comment, I left actually in fill uh, 90% please. So you're going to be able to know that they're going to do it in that way. You put your email and you proceed to the checkout. And here we are with the pieces. This is what you're going to receive. So we have this piece over here that is going to go on the top with this one to lock it and the other two pieces to attach to the deluxe audio strap. Very, very easy. But the first thing you have to do is to take out before these parts over here that are the clip. I already took one out, as you can see. It, there are a little like art to put it out. So you really have to press a lot and you're gonna think like you're breaking them, but don't worry, they're not gonna break. So let me get it out. Here we go. So it jumped out. What you have to do is to press it down actually on this part that is not super hard. So that will do the trick. And then you have to put the, those on. Just align them and uh, you click on it. Here we go. And then you have to put on the top. Super easy as well. You just slide it in. And as you can see, there is the hole there. And then you put the other clip in here to block it. That's it. Super sturdy. At this point you take your deluxe audio strap and what you have to do is just to press on it from the side, pressed and snapped in, press and snap in and then you can attach your audio cable from here and your strap on the top from here. So here we are. You can run the cable on the side and put it on the back over here. Here you go. So it's gonna keep the cable. And so here we are. Here you have the audio strap on the Pimax 5K. And I have to point out something actually. Like I wanna say that the comfort is much, much better, of course. I didn't have the opportunity to try for long sessions because um, as you might know, these broke. So uh, I tried for like two days and then I just blacked out and uh, I wasn't really able to like, uh, you know, do long gaming session without a screen. It didn't really make sense. But other than that, I can tell that the comfort is very similar, if not the same, to the original HTC Vive, but this is also lighter. So it's gonna just feel a little better. 
but I have to point out something. So as you can see, the attachment is very close to your face. When in the HTC Vive was um, in the front part, what does it mean? That this thing will not be okay for many people with uh, smaller ads or like kids and everything because when I wear it directly, I never open actually, I keep it closed and you can see that I can actually wear it just like that and for me it's just perfect, it's just the perfect size right now but if you have a smaller head than me, well, you could have some problem. Of course, you can keep the strap a little smaller on the top, but on the sides, well, this is the crane area that you're gonna have directly. It's not super, super small, but for me, it's just perfect like these. So it's something that I wanted to make you aware about. Also, another thing, on these parts over here, the 3D printer stuff, you have to be aware that when they're gonna arrive, probably they're gonna have some stuff inside because when you do the 3D print, of course, you have to create a layer inside or you're not gonna be able to do this urchin part. And well, you're gonna have to take that piece off. It's actually very easy, like using a toothpick will do the trick or like a little knife. Just be careful, don't cut yourself. Everything looks very, very solid. Even in moving a lot, it's perfect. Doesn't make squeaky noise or something like that. Um, I really suggest to do black and the refill, as I said before, on the 90%, because on the 100%, like I have it, it could be a little steep to take it out. Uh, that's why I'm not doing it now. But yeah, uh, this is super solution, and I think this increase a lot the comfort, by the way, and uh, for a, a price that at the end is like the same that you're gonna have with the HTC Vive at the end. So if you already have an HTC Vive, probably you already have an audio strap and you can attach it for like $10 and that's just amazing, a great thing. By the way, I'm gonna leave in the description below the link of the audio strap from Amazon so you can grab from it. I really suggest it's a good audio and we already talked about it very long ago. It's a great accessory that you really need. And also, I'm gonna leave the link of the 3D printed part from Thingiverse. Tip the creator, of course, because he did a great job doing it. It's just perfect, works perfectly. So super, super recommended. And I think that you, if you have a audio strap laying there, well, take it out from the HTC Vive and mount it on it, and you will be very, very happy about it. Of course, I'm gonna give you all the updates about the Pimax, how is it going uh, directly for the support very, very soon, as soon as I have something. Right now, I'm waiting for the engineer, uh, hardware engineer part of the company because they wanna check something. Uh, again, getting on Team Viewer on my computer like they did before. We also tried to flash the firmware, but nothing worked. Uh, it's just out. Uh, everything works as you can see from the video before um, in Steam VR, but it's not really working screen. So uh, there's no way to use it right now. Anyway, guys, this is super, super recommended. And as always, if you liked the video, like, if you didn't like the video, dislike, subscribe to the channel for more about VR and tech and for update about this guy. And I see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Ciao.